Hi! Kumusta? I'm Marcel and I also go by Akwe Dulisong. I'm a fine arts student at the University of the Philippines, Baguio. I started drawing when I was young. I really got into drawing because I see these pieces my father did before and I would make copies of his works. In elementary, there I joined arts club, but I rarely joined head competitions. I was just too shy. I really like drawing. I was that one kid who would typically spend their day in class with their head down, drawing pairs of eyes at the back of their notebooks rather than taking notes. But since we are in a third world country, in a Filipino household, in high school, I enrolled in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics program. I was doing fine. Even though schoolworks were heavy for me, art was still my passion. I love the process of creating. It gives me this immense satisfaction after creating something wonderful. But still, we have this stigma in the arts of making little to no money at all. In college, I enrolled in biology in a different university. Months later, UPCAT released the list of passers. I got in. Well, hello there, fine arts degree program. I was even more excited, more than ever. My desire in art was fueled a hundred times. The college experience surely widened my understanding and appreciation of art. UP Baguio changed and nurtured the relationship I have with art. Art isn't just for me or for my family, friends. There I learned the power of art. It's power to change opinions, beliefs. It's power to be a weapon for social change. It's capacity to contribute to our society. I started wanting to create more art which does not only speak for me but for others as well. But this time, for this Elimism exhibit, I only thought about what I felt as I reminisced all the yesterdays because this exhibit is a chance for us to look back and reflect from experience as an art student. Looking back at my relationship with art and the space I occupied at the University of the Philippines Baguio, pictures remind me of how I was once. They can show you what clothes you wear and where you are at this exact point in time, but they won't tell you what runs in your head and your heart at that time what feelings you were having at that time. It's all in your memory. The thing is, I lack great memory. I always forget and forget. And from time to time, looking at my photos of myself, I yearn to feel the exact emotions I was experiencing at that specific point in time. The pandemic hit all of us. Luckily for me, just on my mental and emotional state, but to the point where I became numb. I long for the joys and sadness of absorbing and releasing energy at the space where I most feel naked and safe, peaceful and chaotic. Looking back at my past, oftentimes I feel this intense melancholic yearning to the point that I could hear myself crying and wish I could still saunter into their nightly material art space, stroll around the campus saying hi's and hello's to the cats doing their own thing. I know for sure that the things we experience in the spaces we occupy, the time we used and just let pass by, we will never have again. It would all be in different forms, in different places, with different people, and with the newer versions of ourselves. I guess I just have to treasure and cherish every moment I can still remember, because these special moments sometimes become the greatest deciding factors of who we are today. Decisions that are made driven by certain moments in life and we carry all of it into our future. So, thanks again for this opportunity. A much needed reflection and closure. A catharsis of everything bottled up. Another moment to remember. Again, I'm Akwe. Until we meet again. See ya!